I want to talk about something that I don't think has been covered in the conference, at least not in uh, the sessions I've been in, and that's the coming zombie apocalypse. Um, this is a serious matter in the southeast of England. We live in an international travel hub. When uh, zombification breaks out, it is going to spread fast. Models suggest that there will be an exponential growth. And we are doomed. Our houses are not safe places. We need to arm ourselves. Um, I'm going to stop there because this is very silly. I've got a whole presentation of this and I really want to see it. Um, I made this to entertain my team, essentially, who I have a lot of horror nerds in my team. But it was making this chart that made me realize quite how well charts work at visual storytelling. This is a simple bar chart showing the effective ranges of various weapons. But it becomes a drama. You start picking off zombies with your sniper rifle and a clear headshot from a nice safe distance. They're starting to get close. You're having to rely on shorter range weapons, shotguns, revolvers. And then one night you wake to the sound of the glass breaking in the patio door and they're in the house and you're down to a conventional zombie killing weapons of cricket bats and chainsaws, groovy. But there's too many of them. You're becoming overwhelmed. You run out of petrol for the chainsaw. You break a chair, seize the chair leg, beating them off, scrabbling around on the kitchen counter for a bread knife. The shapes of the bars become this rhythm of tension and drama. Robert, um, sorry, Scott McLeod talks about what he calls closure, which is what he says happens in the gaps between panels in a comic book. Those little white spaces where the audience start telling the story, where they're in charge and they're fully engaged in moving the story through time and space and filling in those gaps. And that is what happens between the gaps in a bar chart. And really, I want to just echo uh, Robert, because, of course, Robert's right. Um, you know, the <laughs> stories happen in relationship to audiences. And audiences are going to look for stories, and we need to understand the tools of storytelling and visual storytelling just as well as we understand the code we use and the design tools we use and the data we use because we need to use it with that level of ability. That's all I have.